And welcome to Wednesday morning, halfway through the week. It was freezing yesterday. Well, it's below freezing today. 27 degrees out there. Burr for sure. JC? That's just too dang cold. I can tell you that. Yesterday I'm watching 31's news. I get bored at 11, so I got to watch something. They said yesterday that the temperature one year ago yesterday was 79 degrees here in North Alabama. Y'all believe that? It. Global yeah, warming. Yeah. And join me this morning, Tom, Dusty, Roy, got things going on. Oh, Dusty got a couple of Easter big celebrations going on. You preaching two or three times. All right. Two. We'll talk, two. We'll talk about that in just a moment, too. Get all the information you need, Lindsay Lane Baptist Church and Dusty McLemore. <laughs> 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 Frank's on the phone, too, this morning. Y'all need to give him a call, 230 They know something going on. <laughs> Coming up later this morning, Stan McDonald. He what, didn't make it yesterday. He's going to join us today. Johnny Lee D. He's doing three services at our church coming up this Sunday. He'll be here a little bit later on. And I think uh, Gloria's got some people with the King and I play also coming up. Plus, we'll turn Roy loose, tell us how to stay healthy. Quit doing some of the bad things we are doing. Plus, I got loads of stuff to talk about on this Wednesday morning edition. And yes, it is very cold outside. Of course, I still ain't wearing socks. But 27 degrees, man, this ought to be short weather. <laughs> Bikini <laughs> weather. Can't even get in the pool. Well, of course, you don't get in the pool this time of the year anyway. I ain't even been able to get out and clean it. <laughs> but let's get cranky with the weather because it is going to warm up, but it ain't a whole big warm up, and it's going to rain on Easter. Gene, you look so happy. Yeah. Let's go outside and check out the moon this morning. It looks absolutely uh, beautiful. Is it a full moon? It certainly looks like it. it. Is. Yeah. Oh, that means there's going to be some weird things happening today. High temperatures They're about around to start 53. Right now. <laughs> 53, low tonight of 33. Finally, we'll see some sunshine. That'll be a good thing. Make everyone smile out there tomorrow. 59 for that high with your low temperatures at 37. Partly cloudy skies, but we don't have to talk about any rain. Like he said, possibly until Sunday, 50% chance of those showers. So maybe everyone needs to get out and hunt those Easter eggs in the yard on Saturday with 60 for the high. Ooh, Easter eggs. That's right. Good morning, Dusty. Good morning. I ain't seen you since Monday. Well, I did see you yesterday at class. We snuck in on the spinning yeah, class yesterday. Oh, you there. had your shorts on, though. I know. Man, I had to work. I got to work every now and then. Roy, what's up with you? Just working. Dressed up, everything this morning. Tom, got mm -hmm. those vests on. I'm going to be wearing shorts, boys. Shorts. Yep. We right. Talk about the big news. Bama's done. You watched it last night. Yeah. Maryland beat us 58 57. Sure did. But it was heartbreaking. We had the last shot, but it didn't fall. Well, that's the way it went. Do y'all know what our big topic was yesterday on this program? <laughs> Ducks. Do not give somebody a duck for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> they, ducks, relieve themselves every Brad, stop that. 15 minutes. Do you know that? I didn't. You never seen the much duck do do? Have you walked up there around that lake around your place? <laughs> you can buy, Roy, duck diapers. Well, you probably Gee, need them. can't wait to change them, <laughs> do you, can you? And ducks, I'm just doing this one more time. And ducks live to be over 20 years old. That's a lot of diapers. Wow. Mm. Well, they quack right along. <laughs> no, they don't get a duck. Let's all throw that out. Hey, Auburn starts practice today. I know y'all all three are interested yeah, in that. Yeah, we are. And <laughs> Gus Mozan, his first spring practice today. And it goes the thing, Dusty, on the, the fir rookie coaches in the SEC, including Nick Saban. Nick Saban's record, first mm -hmm. year, obviously, was 7-6. and six. The second year, we went 12-2. and two. Uh, Then Will Muschamp, Florida, he went 7-6. and six. Last year, 11-1. and one. Then got humiliated. So they'll see how Gus does. Says he's everywhere, not like Chiswick. The, the Gus, get on the Gus bus. <laughs> but they start practice today. So, and then yes, I think their eight day games the same day ours is. Uh, yeah, like it that. is. So, a lot of stuff going on. The groundhog, y'all see, he's being sued. <laughs> yeah. Up Tony Field. Well, now I saw on the news this morning, that they're saying, good. they're saying that. Well, he said, I misread his uh, actions when he came out of the borough. He's never right Because anyway. he predicted an early spring, they've had like snowstorm after snowstorm. <laughs> You can't trust them groundhogs. Well, I know. If you can't trust a groundhog, who, well, who are you going to trust? That's you know, who are you going to trust? No one. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you what. There's too much stuff going on this morning, you know, to uh, talk about everything. Dusty, let me get your opinion on the thing that's going on nationwide. Gay Must marriage gay deal. The vote. Mm -hmm. the yes, the big deal was Supreme Court yesterday and today. Yes, and today. You know what tickets Did they that rule thing? today? It costs like $6,000 a ticket to get in to sit in the Supreme Court because they don't allow it to be televised. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, they, had, they even had people, Tom, yesterday paying. Yeah. They'll, you can 
if you don't have unemployed, I guess you're looking for a job. You, for four hundred dollars a day, they'll stand in your place for you. Outside, so you don't lose your mm -hmm. spot. <laughs> that is crazy. That's to you guys yeah. being pastors. Y'all kind of got to take a different look at uh, a lot of things uh, in this gay marriage issue deal. Because right. I know how, how's that going to work if they pass all this and it's legal. We don't really know all the ramifications, you know, that would that would proceed if they did pass it. But uh, you know, it's a difficult thing because you're in really infringing on people's belief. They believed all their lives, and you change something like that, and then have to adapt to that. That's going to be a major adjustment for me personally and for uh, churches. But how does that affect this? If say they say it becomes legal and it's legal here in the state of Alabama, and it looks like it will. What be. if they want to use your church? Can you deny permission for that? Without being sued? Without yeah, being our, sued? Yes, I, our church is autonomous. You know, we're not a part of any affiliation, so we can make our own judgment, uh, as, as I understand it. So I don't think it would affect us personally. I'm sure Speak. many will be checking with their attorneys. Yeah, to be sure. will, yeah. <laughs> it'll be an issue, you know, hiring. Right. Right. Speaking, you know, that kind of, speaking mm -hmm. of that, that yesterday up there, and I saw this on Fox News, I read it on AL.com. Huntsville native Charles J. Chuck Cooper, a 1970 graduate of Huntsville High School, mm. argued yesterday before the U.S. Supreme Court in favor of California's Proposition 8, which bans gay marriage in the state of California. Said uh, Cooper, 61, a 70. <laughs> 70 graduate of Huntsville High School. <laughs> the King and I have uh, arrived. <laughs> he's chairman and founding member of the Washington, D.C. based group uh, Cooper and Kirk, so a Huntsville High graduate. This was on Fox News yesterday. Yeah. So he was up there defending that. What do you got going on this Sunday where we can get your stuff into? Well, we will have two services on Sunday, Easter Sunday. We have 8.30 and 10.30. Uh, and so uh, we're just no Sunday school or anything going on that morning. Just for, uh, we're inviting people to come out. Why is it, like Johnny Dees likes to say, he says people hop in and out of church. A lot of people only go to church on Easter. Yeah. I ain't going to call no names, Brad, but I'll just call you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Some why don't even do that. Uh, you know, I don't really know why that is. But I, I guess it's because of the resurrection, you know, crucifixion, resurrection, and people, you know, it's the spring, and people invite. They invite their relatives and, their and friends to come And their family guilts them into it. Yeah. No, yeah, I guess <laughs> a lot of people come once or twice. You know, I made a right? comment one time. I said, I'll see you all Christmas. <laughs> 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 now, Roy, how many yeah, services y'all got over in Roswell at your church? Y'all doing just one? Just the normal day. Yeah, and Sunrise Service. I know Philip Presley's got one. I don't know if they're doing the thing at the, uh, Athens State. It's Athens State. Athens is going to have or Beasley Field. Right. So they are so going to be gonna doing do sunrise service. Right. And it's 30. They're saying it's supposed to rain this uh, Sunday, so y'all be prepared for that too. So again, mm -hmm. your service are at 8 30 and 10 30. 10 30, right. They give people time to get in and out. Which right. one's usually the most crowded on Easter? Probably the 8 30, because people want to you know, come early and uh, Go get out home. and have the day. But they're, they're, they're pretty, be, uh, pretty balanced. I guess Hopefully we'll, that will be. We'll be <laughs> doubling that day. Hey, speaking of uh, church, Did you hear here, that? What? We'll be doubling that day. Right, now, we'll if you say party. that, he's going to be he's going to well, be I home. Right, I told him right. today we're going to try to double I, church. I don't know if that makes me feel extra good Christiany or not. It doesn't. Do we're super churches. bad. We probably need four times. Come in the back. Hey, we know it won't help. I won't hurt him. That's right. right. It won't hurt you. Yeah. I may need to spend the night. <laughs> hey, a Limestone County Church, this is a new Chris morning, hopes to, hoping to leave the city of Athens, received no help from the city council members the other night. A resolution that would allow little, uh, the Missionary Baptist Church to de annex from the city was on the council's meeting agenda, but uh, Jimmy Gill moved to approve the resolution, but the matter died for lack of a second on the motion. So the church requests to de annex the city of Athens failed. So they'll have to stay in the city of Athens. So, ah. you know. Man, I just can't get over the weather they said yesterday was 79 degrees a year ago. Mm. I know. We're yeah. stuck in cold weather. All right. It stinks. Y'all always oh, making fun of me in spending classes. No. no. Well, USA Today says this morning, <laughs> just kidding. are you a workaholic? <laughs> No. <laughs> Are you a workaholic? 60% no. of the people surveyed, Roy, says no. So about how many hours a week you work, Roy? About 60. Maybe 60. 70. <laughs> ben, uh, oh. what, what does the minister work? One hour I know that's not on Sunday. That's what a lot of people think. Uh -huh. It's a lot of hours. You know, we're a 24, you know, 24-7. We really are. But, uh, 
Oh, I'd say 60, too. I'd say 60 hours at least. A week? Yeah. This is getting better and better. <laughs> Tom, how many hours are you putting up to today's insurance agents? Uh, work, 20. I'm there about 70. Okay. We're actually working. Yeah. Yeah. Then it comes yeah. back to me. Yeah, this ought to be good. Are you a workaholic? No, you are not. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to say that. Oh, really? A lot of people are under the impression that I only work basically an hour a day. An hour? I think I'd say 30 huh? minutes a day. Well, I'm here doing the show. 30 minutes of it. Okay, so you don't do it. Right <laughs> but I have to prepare for it. Oh, okay, so then add another hour. Give him credit for an hour. <laughs> I, I have to prepare for it, you know. <laughs> I have to prepare for it. He's got to watch all those country rovers on Monday. That way he can remember them all. Yeah, I got to see myself. I'm going to give you all a quiz, boys and girls. This is how the day this morning. What are the most popular names of babies born these days locally? Boys and girls. Uh, Joe. No. <laughs> what century are you living in, Joe? <laughs> Joe. Um, well, I have cl no clue. I can't even think of a baby Ryan, name now. Somebody else I don't the know. The most popular boy's name is Bentley. Bentley. The most popular girl's name is Zoe. And, Zoe. and, and Morgan Zoe. County. Zoe. I've Zoe. never met a Zoe. Well, there you go. Name. William has risen from number... So William used please? to be number three. Yeah. Now it's 14. Oh, okay. Or vice versa. I can't remember one here. Sarah, the fourth most popular name in 99, has dropped now to 39. Goodness. Well, I know Gloria is nowhere even on the list. Yeah, it ain't. <laughs> it ain't on here. It's old. It, it ain't on here. The Hunger Games uh, has had some popularity there with, uh, is it Cadence? Cadence? Katniss? Katniss. 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 <laughs> what kind of name is that? Uh, Brad, that was you know. funny. Now y'all have learned something this morning. Huh? Kathy, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Now y'all have learned something this morning. Thomas. Jamie not on here. Roy not on here. Tom not on here. <laughs> Dusty Show ain't on here. You know. Frank, no you missed out here too. Is on here. You know. You missed out too. Those were basic names. That just means we're all special because everybody didn't have our names. Unique, Tom. Right. Unique. Dusty, I want to ask you all. You got to do a funeral today. No, I'm going to a funeral. You're going to a funeral. Right. And, and your church was just used last week for Dr. Campbell's mm -hmm. services. They got a big arc on Huntsville Times this morning. Peggy's Log Cabin has been an institution in Huntsville North Parkway for selling flowers for funerals forever. I mean, for a long time. After 36 years, Friday's their last day. It says 75% of the business there has been tied to funerals. They're right next door to Berry Hill Funeral Home. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, and that, right next to Spry Funeral Homes when it opened. It's maintained a partnership with Spry and Be both those funeral homes are right there together. She's saying a changing, dusty, digital friendly, and less personal culture has emerged. Therefore, 60 and a lot of people nowadays are going to cremations. There's no need really? for a lot of flowers anymore. Right. Does that shock you? Huh. Not really. They are. You know, a lot of people going to having visitation on the same day of the funeral. That's another trend I'm seeing. I have a visitation. That's what we did. Both right. my parents had yeah. a visitation right there at the chapel, and then. Well, had you the, have so many people coming in from out of town, right. and yeah. get everybody together. But it says they're less personal now. You know, oh. there was a time it says when everybody sent flowers. Now <laughs> you hardly see a lot of people don't do flowers. A lot of people in donate lieu of to flowers. Donate in lieu to like flowers, hospice. Donate or, to hospice mm -hmm. or donate yeah. to something else. Well, they're yeah. expensive too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're going to die. Yeah. And and <laughs> Bear, Bobby, they're pretty. Put that though. money towards something. Bobby Barry <laughs> Hale here says us. that in in a couple of years, sixty percent of all. All funerals will be cremations right? Huh. because of the cost. Yeah, I think the economy is wow. driving a lot of that. That's another good reason right there. So this article doesn't shock you. No. So, you know, <laughs> that's, just, you know that's kind of an institution there. So now y'all have learned quite a bit this you morning. You really don't yeah. know how much it is until you go yeah. and you sit down and you're listening to all the options, how yeah, expensive funerals yeah. are. Yeah, that's right. That's why you need to go to places like Limestone Chapel and do those prepaid funeral things because when my parents oh, died, yeah. everything was taken care of. We didn't have to do nothing. They took care of there everything. There was no hidden cost on anything. That's right. If more people would do that, it's, you know, it takes a lot of pressure off the family. Mm -hmm. It certainly that. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All those decisions.
Right. All right, Dusty, again, you got 8.30 and 10.30 this Sunday. Okay. Right. And you come through the main entrance, right? The main entrance. <laughs> come in any door you want to. Just come. <laughs> just get there. Open. Just be there. Right. <laughs> just get there. There's room on the All front right. row. Yeah. All right, Dusty, thanks for coming up this morning. I um, hope I didn't disrupt class yesterday too much when I burst in on y'all over there. Oh, you uh, love doing that. No, we like when you're there. You're very informative. Gloria, we walked in. She <laughs> said. Well, doesn't shut. She walked She said, right. it? man, she said it was awful quiet in there. <laughs> Are you still in shock from from Monday? <laughs> I said, well, I guess that's the way it is on Tuesdays when I ate things. Yeah, right. uh, we'll take a break on this uh, Wednesday morning. This is Cooper Company Live. Y'all mm. hang on.